You can run, but you can't hide. Hey, I've been looking all over for you. Kyle, it's you. I'm so glad it's you. Whoa, well, I am glad you're glad it's me. You ready to check out Smart? Uh, you know, I, uh, I can't. I actually, uh, I volunteered to help AG tonight. Cafe Adams is catering and they were shorthanded. Oh, uh, okay. Melon caviar and prosciutto? Uh, mm. Well. Good, right? Very good. I can't take my eyes off him. Uh, hey, do you mind uh, getting me a drink? Something cold, like a grapefruit juice with a twist of lime? Yeah, yeah, sure. Anything, of course. Maddie's arrived. Thank you. We're connected to Maddie. She's sending a text. Art storage room. The weapon exchange must be happening there. You're touching my artwork. Two paces back. It needs room to breathe. Sorry. Well, I'll be doggone. You did that? It's real nice. Thanks. I call it, please don't explain to me why you're clearly hiding from someone. That's ironic, because it just so happens I'm hiding from someone. I'm on a very important secret mission, so I can't tell you any of the details. Gotta go. Uh, Ember? Hello? Wow, this place is amazing. One minute, we're in the lab. In un instante, we're in the jungle. Scary jungle. <gasps> Emoji wide eyes, open mouth face. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to my Emberarium. Oh, don't y'all worry about Horace. He's all bark, no bite. I mean, he is a Venus flytrap, but he's got a very sensitive stomach. Last time he sucked in a bug, he was sick for a week. This is Priscilla and Lady Hallengate. Uh-oh, do I gotta separate you two? <sighs> Embryofta and Bryopsida are having some personal issues. So, regarding the 3 team mineral thefts, as you may or may not know, so much of our technology and electronics rely on 3Ts because they're able to pack high capacitance into very small volumes. She means the ability of a system to store an electric charge. That's what I said. For instance, our tablets, phones, laptops, video cameras all contain tantalum, which allows the circuitry to function smoothly. And tungsten's used on everything from cell phones to laptop screens to light bulbs. So you can see why they're so valuable. That could be the motive behind the stolen shipments. Ember, you sure know a lot about earth sciences. I know all about what makes up Mother Earth. Minerals are her children too. Anyway, the problem is that in some countries around the world, like the Congo and Africa, these same three Ts are called conflict minerals, meaning the money from the mines where the minerals are found and later sold are used for warfare, which puts these poor miners and their families in incredible danger, which really rolls my socks up, if you know what I mean. Sure. Roll rolls your, your socks? socks? No idea. I'm just so glad I'm a part of this team now. 
Mark my words, we'll find those three tea thieves and make them disappear. Um, we don't really disappear, people. Okay, find those guys. Hog time, mother, make them beg for mercy. Don't really do that either. Find those guys and call the police. Can't we vault? I always wanted to tie a hog. <laughs> We need intel on the port security vulnerabilities. You two look inside the warehouse and I'll do recon around the perimeter. Recon? Intel? Perimeter? There's so much mysterious lingo, it's practically another language. <laughs> hey, get a move on, sailor. He's not a sailor. I'm improvising on the not thing. I like it. Those bananas need to be exposed to ethylene, caballeros. Maybe you can get them to the ripening room? Sometime today? Did you know the banana plant is the largest herbaceous flowering plant? Often, often mistaken for trees? trees. Oh, look at us! Bonding oh, over banana! <laughs> oh! It's a tarantula! Mm. They're not poisonous. Its crate is addressed to the Rio de Janeiro Zoo. Guessing his friends are headed there. Friends. Yeah, of course, he has friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Addison, how's it going with the ship's computer? Mm, still trying. Just, um, keep that creepy crawly far away from me. Don't you listen to the grouchy widow notebook. Spiders are the world's most misunderstood creatures. They're vital to the ecosystem. They eat pesky insects and protect crops. If you didn't have corn spiders, entire cornfields could be destroyed. No cornfields means no corn. That means no tamales, no tortillas. Bad news, Em. I can't get enough of a Wi-Fi signal inside this aluminum death trap. Anyone else feeling a little caliente? Tarantulas thrive best when the temperature is between 70 and 75 degrees. They don't do well much above 80. Then we have something in common. Something's most likely keeping tabs on this fella's climate. Like a wireless thermostat. With a dedicated signal. We have one in Cafe Adams to monitor our walk-in fridge. I can try to hardwire Addison to its transmission. And I think I know where we can find it. I'd go in there, but someone else is gonna have to hold Bernie here. I don't think so. You two seem to have a special bond. Well, I guess Maddie always said, face your fears. This is just staring mine right in its hairy eyeballs. Well, good luck, Em. Uh, you're coming with me. Great. Hello, I'm coming in. The camera we planted on Grady is working great. Is it me or does it seem like this guy's in a real hurry? Who's he calling? Doing a reverse phone number lookup. <sighs> Maywood Glen Cab Company? Yeah, I need a ride to the airport. As soon as you can get here. Why is he leaving town before the concert? Looks like Grady's trying to make a run for it. If he's not stealing those three T's, he might know who is. We have to do something to stop him, or at least slow him down until Michaela gets back. Hotel Millennial. Hi, this is room 519. I would like to order room service. Lots of it. Now. Found it. Addison, get us out of here. Aye, aye, Captain. Rerouting us back to the dock right now. It's okay to be impressed. Sometimes facing your fears is all it takes to conquer them. What? <laughs> Come on, room service, get there.
You wanted an answer? We just got an answer. Maddie's definitely gone rogue. Today on Bryant's, we are joined by my FSS AVF, Michaela McAllister! <laughs> So, Michaela, the buzz is you've got something shocking to show us. That's right. We're talking static electricity. As they say, two heads are better than one. <laughs> static electricity is what happens when you walk on a carpet, touch a doorknob, and generate a spark. Ouch. You're generating an imbalance between negative and positive electrical charges, which can become a hair-raising experience. <laughs> Audience, you decide. Does this look totally current or like a super bad hair day? Kyle's at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I should talk to him about Michaela. Are you loca? It's a recipe for disaster. And I know my recipes. I'm just going to ask if he's taking Hannah to the dance. <sighs> okay, I support you, Chica. But let the record show, if this goes badly, I was home sick today. Hmm? Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Hey, Cam, what's up? Well, I was just wondering if you were taking anyone to the dance. Like, off the top of my head, say Hannah? No. That's great, uh, because, see, I have this friend. Oh, and this friend wants to ask me? Yes, but she's a little shy, and she's afraid what your answer would be. Well, you can tell your friend that I would say yes. Great, she'll be happy to hear that. Uh, just to be clear, you don't mean you, right? Oh, no, no, not me. I don't want to go with you. Um, I, I mean, not that I wouldn't go with you, because you wouldn't be a bad choice for someone if they wanted to ask them to go as friends. Hey, you know, it's okay. I definitely wouldn't ask you either. Um, well, that's, that's not uh, what I meant. It, it's just that I'm not uh, interested in, uh, even though there's no reason why someone or I wouldn't ask you, because uh, who wouldn't be interested in you or ask you, uh, including me? Exactly, and I'd say yes, because I wouldn't say no, because there would be no reason why someone like me wouldn't want to go with someone like you, right? Uh, uh, wait, so does this mean we're going to, together, um... I guess so. Okay. Well, I will meet you there. So, I'm going to the dance with Kyle. K? And not K like okay, but K as in what? How did this happen? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to make a graph. 